Hello everyone, welcome back to the Mr. Flipwogan YouTube channel. I'm Mr. Flipwogan, but you can call me Mel. And this video is going to be a bit different, it's going to be a bit shorter, it's not going to be your average ship review. Um, it's going to be more of a PSA for this ship, although if you guys do want to see a ship review for this thing, then I'd be happy to make one. This is a PSA regarding the tier 9 Italian premium battleship, the Giuseppe Verdi. And um, for me to be able to prove this point that I want to prove, I need to give you some context. So in-game the Giuseppe Verdi is a ship unlike her fellow Italian battleship counterparts. First off, she carries main battery high explosive, which is, well, basically non-existent on uh, Italian battleships since they only carry semi-armor piercing and armor piercing. But Giuseppe Verdi carries high explosive and armor piercing. And secondly, the Giuseppe Verdi carries SAP secondaries, or semi-armor piercing secondaries, and her Tech 3 counterparts don't carry SAP secondaries. And this is actually a game changer, because as an example on the Cristoforo Colombo, the tier 10, it carries a lot, a metric ton of 90mm HE secondaries. But the problem is that they only have a penetration capacity of 15 millimeters. So to put that into perspective, the Shimakaze, the tier 10 Japanese torpedo boat, has 19 millimeter hull armor. Which means that most of the Colombo secondaries won't even be able to bend the darn thing. Looks like that amount of secondaries is compensating for something. It's penetration capacity. However, on the Giuseppe Verdi it is quite different. The Giuseppe Verdi carries SAP secondaries, which have a boosted penetration capacity. These things can penetrate 26mm, which is actually enough to penetrate the whole of a Shimakaze, but it's also enough to penetrate some light cruisers and some battleships' superstructures. And they also make a secondary build, an Italian battleship secondary build, viable. Despite the upsides of the Giuseppe Verdi secondaries being that, well, it has SAP and that it has a metric ton of secondaries like the Cristoforo Colombo, it sadly has no improved secondary range. You can only get it to 10.5 kilometers maximum, which is quite meh for a tier 9 secondary, quote unquote, secondary ship. And it also has standard secondary accuracy, which means that they are pretty goddamn inaccurate. Now, I don't want to be that guy, but I'm pretty sure that even if I'd had cataracts, I could probably aim better than the Giuseppe Verdi's secondary gunners. And sadly, the poor accuracy means that in general, even if you fire away hundreds of secondary shells, most of them will just land in the water. On the other hand, the Giuseppe Verdi's main guns are not that super good either. They are quite trash when uh, stock and not upgraded at all. Both the Sigma and the Dispersion on it is poor, being 1.7 Sigma and 253 meters horizontal dispersion. But Verdi does have some of the best shell velocity in the game, if not the best for a battleship anyway. And when your shells finally hit an enemy ship, they actually tend to hit quite hard. And now to the main point of this video. This may be very shocking for all of you Giuseppe Verdi secondary players. And oh boy, the young, naive version of me that just bought the Verdi would be very shocked right now as well. But the fact of the matter is that going all out on secondaries on the Giuseppe Verdi is not worth it. But before all of you get angry at me for proposing that, let me tell you that you can still indeed run a secondary captain on the Verdi. And you can keep basically all of your modules uh, that creates a secondary build, but there's one big change that you'll need to make. Yes, all you had to do to fix the Verity is to change the secondary battery mod 1 to aiming systems mod 1. Well, it only gives a 5% better secondary battery firing range, it gives 7% less dispersion for your main battery guns too. And while it doesn't sound like a lot, I've actually found it to be quite the game changer. Suddenly I realized that I hit more of my shells on enemy ships, and suddenly I realized that I'm actually getting more citadels on enemy ships. My guns actually feel slightly more viable now than what they were before. And now while the secondary range has been nerfed to 9.2 kilometers, 
surprisingly enough, you still don't feel that range nerf quite a lot, due to the fact that, well, your secondaries just don't tend to hit that much in general if you're shooting at someone at 10.5 kilometers. But at a slightly closer distance, at 9.2 or less, you will actually get your secondaries off, and there is also a higher chance for your secondaries to actually hit and deal damage to the enemy ships. While these changes are relatively small changes, I find them to actually contribute quite massively to the damage output and consistency of this ship. Originally, with a full secondary build, it felt like I could only do around 65k damage consistently, while now I actually manage to do around 90k consistently, and sometimes I may even pass the 100k mark. Of course, I'm not a super unicum in this game, and stats-wise I believe I'm qu quite average, honestly, but it still feels like this small modification works wonders for me. So who knows how well it may actually work out for someone who can actually r unleash its full potential. Now this replay is quite old, still from the era of the old economic system with economic flags. I believe this battle was played sometimes in July, roughly speaking. But I'm playing the Giuseppe Verdi with this modification here. And to be honest, the game hasn't changed that much. We still have submarines and super ships and uh, a lot of the things that the Verdi dislikes. So in general, this replay hasn't really aged at all. But still, to improve your Verdi, it's not a big modification you have to make. And it doesn't cost a lot. So I encourage any secondary Giuseppe Verdi players out there to try this little modification out. Anyway, that's all I have for this video, and I, I know I haven't posted for quite a while, and it's mostly because I'm studying in university right now, and the amount of course literature I need to read and process is quite massive for me. Uh, it takes a while, and it takes a lot of energy, and sadly it doesn't leave me with a lot of excess energy uh, that I can put into these hobbies like YouTube videos and uh, other creative projects. I actually originally planned to make this video quite a while ago, but the final piece of motivation that actually pushed me to creating this video, finally, was the fact that I'm actually today going to listen to one of Giuseppe Verdi's operas in a church, which, is, will, which will be quite interesting. It's uh, Messa de Requiem, for any one of you guys wondering. Anyway, that has been enough rambling for this video. If you like it, then please like it, and if you dislike it, then dislike it. Uh, please also give some constructive criticism, if you don't like this video, um, to tell me that what I can do better and give general feedback, even if you did like it, so I can improve my content. And finally, if you guys actually do try this modification, let me know how it works out in the comments down below. Uh, has it improved your gameplay? Is it making it worse? Do you have a full gun build instead of a secondary build? Anyway, that's all for this time. I've been Mr. Flipwagon. Remember to stay awesome, keep flipping, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!